The Road Traffic Management Corporation, the RTMC, says you were told this was coming. You should have prepared for it. Uh, this is the way things are. Why are you protesting? Okay, uh, well, let me, uh, before we can go to that question, I want to rectify something with you. I heard you earlier on uh, on the radio on air saying the driving school are angry and they don't want to accept uh, this uh, online booking system. Let me put clear to everyone now uh, that uh, the driving school, they don't have any problem when individuals booking slots on the system. The driving school has a problem when the slots are not bookable on the system. From the 18th of February, uh, when this system, online system was uh, introduced, we all the driving school were unable to book slots on the system. And I'm telling you, if the RTMT can make their system work, we won't have any strikes in the country or in routing as we speak. But the system is not meant to allow driving schools to book slots. No, no, no. It's allowing. Everyone is allowed to book on the system. Remember, in the, as, individuals, yes. and, as individuals, yes. As individuals, that's the, how it's meant to work. Book. Yes. As, as I understand it, the new system specifically is not designed for driving schools to be able to book slots on behalf of clients. People can do so as individuals, as citizens. Yes. And, 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 and then the most uh, problematic part is that uh, slots are not bookable on the system. For driving schools, hold on, hold on. Let's just hold on, hold on, Abel. It's a problem. Abel, hold on. I just want to make sure we understand each other. I'm saying to you, my information is that the new system does not allow driving schools to be able to book on behalf of clients. People must do so for themselves without your assistance. Isn't that what you're upset about? Yeah, basically, partially I can say so, uh, but uh, now as we speak, the driving school can, can be able to book for anyone who asks them to assist with the booking procedure. The individual can book for themselves. Those who approach the driving school to assist, they can do so as well. But the main problem in this uh, uh, problem, uh, Bongani, is... The, 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 Abel, the, hold the on. How, hold on. Just explain that to me. Team. Hold on. We'll talk about the efficiencies of the system as a separate thing. But yeah. as I understand it, what you do is you go online, you create a profile, you provide them with either your email address or a cell phone number or whatever other personal details they may require you then as an individual are sent a one-time password or pin that is not something that is given to a third party like a driving school so how are they able to book on behalf of clients in the, if that's the way the system works exactly. so you agree with me the problem that you are upset about is that you're no longer allowed it's not that the system isn't working it's that you as driving schools may no longer charge a premium for what is really a free service no 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 we we, we we are not allowed we are not given an opportunity to make a booking on behalf of our uh, client precisely Remember, we are the schools yes so preci- you shouldn't have to have that right clients. you shouldn't have to have that right people should be able to do that for themselves like I said, we don't have any problem if the individuals are making bookings for themselves. We only have a problem when we are not allowed to make a booking for our for our clients. You shouldn't. We have, we are Why schools. should you? Have, okay, hold on, we have, Abel. We have students under our schools. Abel. So these people, RTMT must come and consult with us. Abel, why do you yes. think you have the right to do this on behalf of your clients when they can do it for themselves? Remember, some of them, uh, uh, they don't have smartphones, some of them, they don't have data, some of them, they don't have uh, even a simple thing, emails. That's something that can be sorted out. That's something that can be sorted out with the RTMC. My difficulty is, Abel, you are now holding the rest of us to ransom. Because you've now, as part of your process, been disrupting various licensing stations. There are people who've taken time off work, who are not going to be able to get uh, those days off again. There are people who can't renew their licenses because you're upset that you're losing money over something that isn't your right. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.